All right, everyone, welcome back. A quick update on Caspa, and as always, not really much has changed on Caspa. We're still kind of following our little squiggly line thing to play out here. Um, I'm going to just go ahead and get rid of that. Uh, the momentum now is still down as it was before on Caspa. So uh, from the top here, we came down, of course, to the 382, got rejected at the 415 at the 21 day EMA. And this is what we've been watching here. So we did get our 0.5 retracement down to 32, down to the 100 day EMA. The momentum you can see on the stock RSI is still way down. The Heikinashis are still printing red, so we're still trending down. And we're kind of just waiting around to see if we're gonna break the 0.5, the 100 day EMA at this 32 level and get that deeper 618 retracement here. So from the low to the high, 0.5 retracement. And if we're lucky here, we're going to take out that support at 0.5, at that 0.5 rather, and come down to the 618 at 29 and get another 14% discount on Caspa here. So we'll see how it plays out. Just a quick update. Hopefully we get that retracement down to that uh, 29 level and we can scoop up some more Caspa just a little bit cheaper here. And then we'll just take it from there. Uh, we are still kind of looking for a 200 day EMA retest somewhere in between the 24 and 29 level here. So we'll see how it plays out. We may, you know, go sideways here and then finally come down to the 618 at some point and end up meeting the 200 at that 29 level. It just depends on how long it's going to take uh, to come down here. But I do think we're going to get a 618 retracement here to 29. So at least another 14% on Caspa here. So good luck, everyone. Now financial advice, and we will see you in the next one. Peace out.